Welcome back, Hubble Collectors and Diecast Enthusiasts, to another episode of Curb's Garage. I just wanted to share my love um, for Chevy Love pickup trucks. And, um, yeah, when I was a youngster, I always wanted one. And I uh, never did get one. I ended up driving Mazda pickups most of my life. Um, but anyhow, I always... Uh, Loved the Chevy Love pickup, so when Hot Wheels made them, I was super excited. This one's a um, premium with real riders. The other two are main lines. Um, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because um, when I first started collecting, I had this idea to uh, pick a Hot Wheel and um, send it to one of my friends on Instagram and have him. T well, first, I'd take a picture of it. And here in Oceanside, with Oceanside in the background, and send it to another person, have them take a picture of whatever state they were from, and, and just have it travel around the world being posted on Instagram. Well, here's the story. Um, it was on Instagram. It was, um, I think if you go hashtag, um, there it is right there, Hot Wheel Travels. Here is uh, where it was sent, and wasn't sure. Um, you could barely see what that sign is in the background. I want to say Michigan, maybe. But also, um, people did wheel swaps on it. Um, this one guy, it was so funny, he was in Louisville, Kentucky, and he said that... Um, when he was in town driving, uh, he had some of that bourbon and got in a wreck and had to get some repairs before he could travel again. Another guy put new wheels on it. Um, here's uh, a guy that uh, took a picture of it next to the Louisville Slugger. So there it is in Kentucky. And then um, here it is. Looks like it's next to a bowl of some high grade uh, medical there. And let's see, we saw that one already. There's another one with another guy taking a picture of it. 100 little cars. And if you read it, you can see where it traveled to. Here's one that uh, was in Newport, Florida. There it is pictured and then there's some of the the other ones where it traveled to this is um a spot in new york i think right here and this was at another guy's place he had a diorama that he had it going through his town there's another shot of it Again, I'm not 100% sure where all these spots are, but it was a really neat idea. There it is again. Uh, that's when it was taken apart and um, got some work done to it. And that's just uh, my little collection there. Here it is again. And uh, this, I believe it was in Canada. So it actually traveled to Canada before it got all the repairs and the did get the wheel swapped though. Uh, it looks like the wheels got swapped even yet again. And you notice how it was chrome in the back. And then that other picture, it was uh, painted black. So anyhow, um, there it is again. And um, so it was a cool idea, and uh, but then it ended up stopping in Long Beach, or not Long Beach, I think uh, um, Bellflower, California, and hasn't moved since then. So some people get it and they hold on to it for a long time, they space on it, and I just wanted them to really, the thing is just take a picture of it in your hometown and with the sign in the background and move it on to the next person, the next person, the next person. So. Um, just bring this idea up to you guys if you want to do something like this within the YouTube community. I could be kind of cool, like, uh, you know, maybe I'll just send a car to, um, I don't know, somebody random 
and they post it on their YouTube and they send it to the next person and the next person, maybe the mics, send it to the mics and the, um, you know, everybody. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. All right. I uh, just thought I'd share that with you.